let's get to the professionals in the field of non-oil um, segment of the Nigerian uh, economy, including those in trade, finance, banking, which met on Tuesday in Lagos to deepen the country's vision at increasing the size of its non-oil revenue. Bringing insights into this important economic issue were key speakers at the Zenith Bank Annual Conference on Non-Oil Export. Uh, let's take some excerpts. The MOU between Zenith Bank and African Continental Free Trade Area will be executed. The MOU will be for Zenith to develop... We'll be developing the smart AFCTA portal, which is going to serve as a trade portal that will showcase African products and services where they can be found. With the development of this portal, one of the capabilities we are going to build in there is that you can sit in every part of Africa and market your products and services. You can sit in every part of Africa, identify whatever products and services you require that are in Africa. If you look at the shadow, the, permit me to show this shadow of uh, Q1 export in Nigeria, you realize that as non-oil export in Nigeria, 46.43% goes to Europe, 24.85% goes to Asia, America 18.39, Africa 10.27. And also there's this tendency in Africa, the moment you are looking for an item you can't find in your geography or region, the first thing you think of is how do I find it in Europe? How do I find it in the West? How do I find it in China? Now, with the development of the AFCTS Smart Portal, we are saying, look for it in Africa before you look elsewhere. Zenith has continued its tradition to call attention to non-oil exports. I saw the chart that uh, Dr. Onyago put on the board, 1.2% uh, non-oil exports to GDP ratio. In the, in, the, in the decade between 2001 and 2011, the non-oil exports to GDP ratio for Nigeria was 0.8%. And you can imagine that in the next decade, so from 2012 to 2022, I looked at the board, they are still at 1.2%. But well, we need to be growing much faster. Countries that are way smaller than us are doing much better. Netherlands has a land size of 34,000 square meters. I mean, square kilometers. So if you add water, you go to 42,000. It might interest you to know that non-oil exports from Netherlands is 29% of their GDP. Most times they do $108 billion in non-oil exports. Now keep in mind that Netherlands is smaller than Niger State, actually half the size of Niger State. I'll give you another example. Ireland is a country that sits on just about 70,000 square kilometers, and they routinely do non-oil exports of $170 billion. So we can do better. Dr. Beniza has shown us on the board what each region can you know, um, uh, facilitate, each region can pay attention to. We have all it takes. We're lucky too that we have a government whose economic philosophy, I might say, can be encapsulated in market-driven initiatives while also protecting and engendering the egalitarian bedrock of our society. So there cannot be a better time for us to grab this our future, work on non-oil exports, and make sure that we grow beyond the 1.2 percent that we are currently producing at. Nigeria is a, a leader in Africa on e-commerce and digital innovation. Nigeria is also a net exporter of cement, over six, trillion, over six million tons, metric tons of cement, I believe, that the country is able uh, to export. Similarly, in the services sector, 50% of gross GDP in the past decade has been derived from the services sector in Nigeria. But from an export point of view, the services sector accounts for only 9% as of 2019. Again, that means that there is an opportunity for the services sector to expand, whether it is financial services, cultural services, 
to expand to other parts of the African continent. So the, the theme that, the running theme of the trade seminar, diversification, is entirely consistent with the AFCFTA and its objectives. I want to leave you with um, what the former president of Burkina Faso said many, many decades ago. He said we must dare to invent the future today. We must dare to invent the future today. So President Sankara's words always are with me because what we are doing as Africans is to dare to invent our own future. And that is a very, very noble ambition. So when they tell us you won't be able to do it, it's too difficult. In my view, that is what drives us, this noble ambition of creating our own future as a continent. Because, as the MD said, nobody is going to develop our continent except us as Africans. Those who come must come on our terms. But no one is going to develop our continent and ensure all of the objectives that we have in place, that they happen. The economic diversification that we want to see. So I want to thank you all very much. I want to thank African Bank for the collaboration. I want to thank Zenith Bank for the collaboration, AFDB, all of our financial institutions that have really taken uh, leadership and must continue to take leadership of the AFCFTA.